Okay, in this video we're going to look at the following example. So we want to find all primitive roots modulo 54. So maybe let's first notice the following that we can factor 54 as follows. This is 2 times 27, which is the same thing as 2 times 3 cubed. So that means we know there is a primitive root. And that's uh, because 54 equals 2 times p to the m, where m is some odd prime. And we have a classification theorem um, that says that uh, all numbers of this form have a primitive root. Okay, so now from here we're going to use the method of proof when we built up to proving the classification theorem in order to find the first primitive root modulo 54 and then use another result to get all primitive roots uh, modulo 54. So step one is as follows. So we want to find a common primitive root modulo 3 and 3 squared. And in fact, whenever you're doing any problems like this, you want to start off with finding a common primitive root modulo p and p squared. It just happens that here we have p equals 3. So we want to find a common primitive root modulo 3 and 3 squared, which is obviously 9. And um, it's easy to check here that 2 um, is this primitive root. Okay, so uh, you know, that looks like minus 2, but what I really mean is 2 is that primitive root. And so uh, the next step um, is to ensure that uh, this primitive root is written in an odd form. And so you know, since we're working modulo 3 or modulo 9, um, we can not just choose 2, but we can choose 2 plus 3 or 2 plus 9, and that, uh, and that will work. And so we'll work uh, 2 plus 9. And so notice that 2 plus 9 is congruent to 2 um, mod 3, and it's congruent to 2 mod 9. So that means um, we'll choose 11 as... the primitive root that we need. <clears throat> Great, and now we're actually all set. So step three, um, again, using a proof of a, re of, of a previous result, we have, so by previous, we actually have 11 is a uh, primitive root mod um, two times three to the n, and this is for all n bigger than or equal to one. And so that includes um, 54, which is 2 times uh, 3 cubed. And so not only did we find a primitive root modulo 54, but 11 is a primitive root modulo 2 times 3 to the n for any n. Okay, so now the next step is the following to find the rest of the primitive roots. So the remaining... primitive roots will be 11 to the k where um, the GCD of k and phi of um, 54 um, equals 1, but that's the same thing as the GCD of K and 18. You can check that uh, phi of 54 is equal to 18. So that tells us the following. So that tells us we have K in the following set. 1, so we can't use 2, 3, or 4, so we have 5, 7. We can't use 8, 9, or 10, and then we have 11, 13, and 17. So um, in the end, we have k in this set, 
So I'll clean up the board and then we'll uh, finish this off. Okay, so picking up where we left off. So uh, let's recall that we have all the primitive roots of modulo 54 are 11 to the K, where K is in the set 1, 5, 7, 11, 13, and 17. So notice there's six elements in that set. And then by a previous result, we know that if there's a single primitive root modulo 54, then there are phi of phi of 54. In other words, phi of 18, um, which is six primitive roots modulo 54. So that indeed will find all six of them. And so now we can calculate all of these numbers. So 11 to the one is obviously 11. Now I'm gonna leave off the calculation, but you can look at previous videos for how to quickly calculate this arithmetic modulo 54. And then 11 to the five is 23. And here we're working mod 54 the whole time. 11 to the seven is 29. Um, 11 to the 11 is 41. 11 to the 13 is 47. And then 11 to the 17 is five. Great, so in hindsight, maybe it would have been better to work everything off of our uh, primitive root modulo five, but um, that being said, the construction that we used, which was based off of some previous results, got us the primitive root of 11 first. Okay, so that's the end of this uh, video.